Just the leg. Welcome to Tibet this week. We bring you news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's take a look at today's headlines. Sikyong concludes assessment visit to Tibetan communities in Himachal Pradesh. 28 years of enforced disappearance of 11th Penchen Lama, Tibetans demand information on his well-being. United Nations questions China on situation of Tibetan women in Tibet. Representative Dr. Namge Chirup seeks support in enacting Tibet bill. Australian All-Party Parliamentary Group for Tibet organizes Tibet Brief event. Thubten Sering Coordinator, Bureau du Tibet, visits Tibetans in Amiens. Representative Kesan Gense Bawa attends annual Buddha Day ceremony in Taipei. Canada Tibet Lobby Day renews call for appointment of Special Coordinator for Tibet in Canadian Government. Sikyong Bimba Sitting of the Central Tibetan Administration concluded his two-week assessment tour of Tibetan communities in Kulu Manali, Patlikul, Mandi, Pondo and Tashijong in Himachal this week. Sikyong visited the schools, local monasteries and nunneries, medical centers, settlement offices and vocational training centers. During his interaction with the general public and students, Sikyong highlighted the 16 Kashaks initiatives, in particular the drive to collect the demographic data of exiled Tibetans, advocacy and Kashaks' efforts to reach out to the Chinese government to resume negotiations based on the middle way approach. This Wednesday marked the 28th anniversary of the enforced disappearance of the 11th Pension Lama, Jezun Tenzi Gendu Nishi Tile, Pel Sangbo, widely known as Gendu Cheginima. Marking the day, the Department of Information and International Relations of the Central Tibetan Administration released a statement with a two-fold demand, urging the Chinese government to release information on the whereabouts and well-being of the 11th Pension Lama and his parents, and calling on the Chinese government to respect the basic human rights of Tibetans, including an immediate halt to the forced disappearance of prominent religious figures, leaders and advocates in the community. The statement further mentioned that the Benjen Lama's 28-year-long abduction serves as a grim reminder of the brutal oppression of the Chinese colonial regime against the Tibetans. On Friday last week, a group of 23-member UN Expert Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women raised numerous pressing questions to the Chinese delegations concerning the situation of women in China and regions under its control, including Tibet and in special administrative areas of Hong Kong and Macau. The experts reviewed China on the implementation of the United Nations International Convention on Elimination of Discrimination Against Women in the ongoing 85th session of the committee commenced on 8 May. More than 40 members of Chinese delegations attended the session. However, the delegations yet again failed to give sufficient responses to the experts, resulting in repeated interventions from the chair and the country's rapporteur, reminding the delegations to provide specific replies to the questions raised by the experts. Tibet groups, namely Tibet Bureau, Tibetan Women's Association, and Tibet Advocacy Collusion Group made submissions to the Committee on Tibet to draw the committee's attention to the situation of Tibetan women during a public briefing prior to the China Review. Representative Dr. Namge Chirup and Tibetan liaison officer Kunga Tashi from the Office of Tibet, Washington, D.C., made a four-day official visit to the Tibetan community in Minnesota recently to meet and interact with the Tibetan residents there. The two addressed the gathering at Tibetan Cultural School, apprised the Tibetan residents of the Office of Tibet's undertakings, attended the founding anniversary of Youth for Umela, and carried out thorough discussion with the Tibetan American Foundation of Minnesota's Committee for Materializing Tibet Town Vision. At the gathering with Tibetan Community of Minnesota, Representative Dr. Namge Chudup highlighted the significance of expediting resolution of Tibet-China conflict. He implored Tibetans in the U.S. to pool their efforts in gathering support from lawmakers in enacting the proposed Promoting a Resolution to Tibet-China Conflict Bill. The Australian All-Party Parliamentary Group for Tibet held an event called Tibet Brief at the Parliament Building on Thursday last week. The meeting was facilitated by the Australia Tibet Council in coordination with Tibet Information Office and ACT Tibetan Community. The event aimed to bringing 
to gather new parliamentary friends to learn about Tibet and its current situation from Tibet. In the meeting, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Sharon Clayton, Susan Templeman, MP, Senator Janet Rice, and Dr. Sophie Scamps, MP, who had recently visited Dharamshala, shared their experiences of meeting with the exiled Tibetan leadership and their deeper understanding of the Tibetan issue and insights into the lives of Tibetan refugees in exile. Representative Kama Singe briefly spoke about the worsening situation inside Tibet and expressed his gratitude to all parliamentary friends for their concerns and consistent support for the cause of Tibet. The meeting was attended by around 20 parliamentarians and their staffers. Thupten Tsering, coordinator of the Bureau du Tibet in Paris, paid a visit to Tibetans in Amiens, northern France, at the request of the Amiens Tibetan Association on Sunday last week. In Amiens, the coordinator met with Ama Yulo, a steadfast benefactress to the Tibetans resident, and spoke to the gathering on the policies of the Central Tibetan Administration and undertakings of the Central Tibetan Administration and Bureau du Tibet, Paris. Representative Kensa Genze Bauer of the Office of Tibet in Taiwan attended the annual Buddha Day ceremony organized by Tzu Chi Foundation in Hulin on Sunday last week. The grand ceremony attended by around 20,000 people to pay homage to Buddha also witnessed the attendance of the current Taiwanese president Tsai Ing-wen and other prominent leaders including the erstwhile president, ambassadors and representatives from other countries. Venerable Geshe Denzi Namdu Rinpoche, the Buddhist philosophy teacher at Tibet Religious Foundation of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, was also invited to the ceremony. Earlier on 10 May, a similar ceremony was held at the Hunshang University in Sinchu City, Taiwan, where Representative Kensa Genze Bawa addressed the gathering attended by Deputy Mayor of Sinchu City and the Deputy Representative of Indian Embassy in Taiwan. It was also partaken by the university's principal, faculty, students and Buddhist monks from both Theravada and Mahayana Buddhist traditions. The Tibetan community in Canada marked the annual Tibet Lobby Day on Thursday last week with a renewed call for support from Canadian members of Parliament consisting of 10 MPs from all five national political parties in Ottawa. Honourable Canadian members of the Parliament who took part in the event include Arif Virani, James Meloni, Garnet Genius, Samir Zuberi, Elizabeth May, Zayed Abul Dev, John McKay, Peter Julian, Julia Vignola, and Anita Vandenbelt. The representative of the Tibetan community in the appeal urged the members of the parliaments for their backup in the appointment of Special Coordinator for Tibet in the Canadian government. The Tibet Lobby Day was coordinated by Canada Tibet Support Group and Canadian Parliamentary Friends of Tibet was participated by 34 Tibetan delegations representing Tibetan associations of Toronto, Ontario, Ottawa and Montreal, along with the Regional Tibetan Women's Association of Canada, Regional Tibetan Youth Congress of Toronto, Chushi County, Canada Tibet Committee and Students for Free Tibet. That is all the news for this week's edition of Tibet This Week. Thank you for watching Tibet TV.